Today, I will be showing you how to optimize your AMD graphics card to run CS2 at its best capabilities. Besides the optimization, I will show you how to fix stutters and how to change resolutions. Now, this is the kind of stuff that I don't know too much about. So to help me with this guide, I brought in a diamond and dirt, an expert, Isa, who specializes in PC optimization and has worked with the best pros in the scene, such as Monacy, Glaive, and Kenny S. He is the guy that I trust with my computer as well as the top pros. So message him if you have any issues or need your PC optimized. Let's get started. First, go to the description of the video and download ISA's AMD optimization folder, which is the Google Drive link. You will need this folder because it contains files and softwares to complete the optimization. And yes, these files are completely safe. ISA and I are trusted by many pros in the scene. Once you have the folder downloaded, open it up. We're going to start off by uninstalling your current AMD driver at getting you the best one for CS2. Go to DDU, and then once you're inside DDU, run the display driver installer as admin. Go ahead and select a GPU and AMD on the right side, then clean and do not restart, and then we wait. Once the uninstall is complete, go ahead and click yes. Now we're gonna go back into ISA's folder to run the Radeon software slimmer, which wipes all the bad stuff from the AMD drivers. You can change the skin to light or dark mode. Next, go to pre-install and browse. Go to ISA's folder and make sure we have all files in the bottom right. By enabling this, this is going to allow us to find the driver, which is the WHQL. Double click that file, click next, and then next. What this does is going to open up the driver now. Go ahead and uncheck everything down below on this bottom half. We're going to continue to uncheck some of the things above the list now. So make sure you follow along. If you do dual streaming or need audio drivers from your graphics card, for example, using Elgato through HDMI, then you will need to check AMD high definition audio controller and AMD HDMI audio driver. However, if you don't do any of that, then you can go ahead and uncheck both of these. This person does not do any of that, so both of these will be unchecked. Then click Modify Installer, then Run Installer. Then we wait for this installer to load up. Once it's done running, go ahead and check off Don't Allow AMD to Collect Information. Then click Install in the bottom right. And now we wait for the installation. Once the installation is done, go ahead and click restart on the bottom right. Your computer will now restart. Once you're back, go into ISO's folder and look for these three files, then go ahead and press enter. These files are some settings for the AMD GPU. And then once you're going to see that you're going to get a pop-up, click yes, and then click OK. Now go back to ISA's folder and you are going to want to go ahead and click this here. The MSI Afterburner. Go ahead and load that up. Uncheck the Riva Tuner. You don't need that. And then complete the installation after. Installation is complete. Uncheck README and then finish. The program will load up and click on the gear sign. Once we are in the settings, you see this option here. We want this checked. Disable ULPS. Check that. Click apply and then click yes to repeat your PC. Once your back right click on your desktop go to amd software you're gonna get this pop up and go ahead and click skip on the bottom go to the bell and clear your notifications then click the gear to go to settings disable automatic updates then go to the hotkey tab and disable hotkeys then you're gonna go to the preference tab and uncheck all of these go to the performance tab and where it says select metrics click the middle option the eyeball thing go to tuning custom then i accept enable the fan tuning and advanced control and then for the fan speed, copy what ISA does here and make it look similar to this. Afterwards, go ahead and click apply changes. Afterwards, go to power tuning and enable that and raise your power limits to the max all the way to the right. Apply changes after. Now go to the gaming tab, remove Counter-Strike 2 because it's currently bugged in this AMD program. Go to the dots on the three side and click add a game. So we're gonna have to look up CS2 manually. So this person's Steam is on their C drive. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Contract Global Offensive, Game, Bin, Win64, and that's where you find CS2. Now we fix CS2 to be where it could be read here. Go ahead and go inside of it. Now we configure CS2 and we're gonna enable Radeon Anti-Lag. Disable the Anti-Tropic Filtering. Surface Format Optimization, enable that. Tessellation Mode, Override Application Settings. And if you want to change your vibrance, go ahead and enable custom color. And this is where you do so with this tab here in setting. This only changes the colors for when CS2 is running for the vibrance. When you close CS2, the vibrance will go back to default. So that's really nice. 
Now we can exit the program and go down to your sounds. We want to disable everything in playback and recording if you are currently not using it. So only keep your headset and mic enabled. Once you disable all the unneeded devices, click OK bottom left. Now if you're experiencing some stirring, let's look at a possible solution. Go ahead and enable in-application overlay. Afterwards, you're going to go to the performance tab, click the gear sign here. Go to the overlay tab, click show metrics, enable that. You can track your FPS, GPU, CPU, but we're just going to uncheck everything and just keep FPS. You do need one of these to be enabled for the anti-stuttering fix. How to change resolutions, go ahead, right click your desktop and go ahead and go into the AMD software. Go to gaming, then display. There's a box right here that says custom resolutions. Go ahead and read and accept that. Then go ahead and create new. Let's say we want to play 1280 by 960. Go ahead and put in those numbers like this. And then we also have to change the timing display 1280 by 960. Then hit create. Now, if this makes your game have black bars, then try enabling the GPU scaling. And if you don't have black bars, keep this option disabled. Now your AMD GPU is optimized for a CS2, however, what about the rest of your computer? Well, if you haven't yet, check out my CS2 FPS guide with ISA. You will want to watch that video to have your other computer parts, program settings to be the best it could be to run CS2. If this video is helpful, like the video, subscribe, as I will be collaborating with ISA to put out more CS2 optimization guides in the future.